So we are a boutique distillery set up on an old winery site. So this is the old Renmanos winery, which has been opened since 1916. We currently distill five brandies, a brandy liqueur, three gins, a whiskey and two vodkas. So our gin is a citrus infused gin. So we use fresh limes and mandarins from the Riverlands as part of the botanical blend for our gin. And that and our rose petal distilled vodka are probably our two most popular products that we're known for. So tastings, there's a variety you can do. We've got our Palette Liberator tasting, which has got a variety of what we distill. So that one's a brandy, whiskey, gin and vodka tasting. With the tastings, we sit down with you for a few minutes, go through how the products are made, flavours, mixes, garnishes are the best way to enjoy the products. And then you do your tasting neat and with a mixer. Apart from that, there's our time and passion tasting, which is an all brandy tasting. So you're working your way from a two-year-old brandy up to a 24-year-old age brandy and finishing with our brandy liqueur. And then we've got our heart and soul tasting, which is our gin tasting. So the three gins we distill with a bottle of tonic water so you can try it as a straight product and with a gin and tonic. Our signature gin is our most popular. This one is a citrus infused gin. So we use things like juniper, coriander, star anise, cardamom, as well as fresh limes and mandarins in the distillation process. So the botanicals are placed into metal baskets. The baskets are steeped in the neutral spirit inside the pot still and boiled. So they act a bit like a tea bag and that's where that flavour is coming from. So a very nice citrus flavour coming through the gin. Very nice to enjoy neat or on ice because it is so smooth. As a tonic or soda, as a mixer, can't go wrong as well though. Less is best though because it is such a nice gin. So the next one is a Navy Strength gin. So Navy Strength is a style. So if you listen to the stories, back in the day, the Navy claimed that they needed overproof alcohol because if the product got on the gunpowder and wet it, it would ruin the gunpowder. If it was over a certain percentage and it wet the gunpowder, the gunpowder would still fire. So anything over a certain percentage, the gin is classified as Navy Strength. So ours is 57.7% alcohol. This one, obviously being that strong, is one I'd probably recommend a gin and tonic gin and soda for. It's the same botanical flavour as our signature gin, but the botanicals come through at different strengths. While our signature is quite citrus forward, some of the other earthier botanicals come through more at the 57.7%. As a garnish for that one, I'd recommend something quite hard, something like a star anise or some rosemary in the gin and tonic. And our last one, our barrel aged gin. And this one is aged for six months in bourbon barrels. So the gin spends six months in ex-bourbon barrels, getting some of those characteristics from the wood. This one is still very nice gin and tonic, gin and soda, but on the other end of the scale, having it on ice with any of your orange citrus, so just a twist of an orange peel or mandarin peel. And our other one is our rose petal distilled vodka. Here in Renmark, we've got the biggest rose garden in the Southern Hemisphere, Ruston's Rose Garden. So. From them, they handpick eight to 10 kilos of the Radio Time and Mr. Lincoln rose petal varieties. They will send them to us and we use them in the distillation process. So as far as we know, it is the only rose petal distilled vodka in the world.